We all know Witcher 3 is an amazing game. I mean, an emotional and captivating story, fun and satisfying combat, and a gorgeous open world filled with quests and tasks. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the first DLC for The Witcher 3, Hearts of Stone. I'm not really going to talk too much about the main components of The Witcher 3, and I'm really just going to focus on the new things Hearts of Stone added, and kind of review the game like it's its own standalone, which it easily could have been with the amount of content it has. Initially, when starting Hearts of Stone, it may be very confusing. My initial thoughts were, what is happening, when is this taking place, and where are the main characters from the main story? None of this is ever really answered, however, it's safe to assume that the DLC either takes place slightly after the main story or sometime in between. When you head into the DLC, be ready for a completely different experience. The tone feels much darker, and there are a lot of risks in the narrative that I say paid off. This DLC easily could have been forgettable and unimportant, but with new bold characters, new enemy types, abilities, and a new interesting narrative, the DLC offers plenty to make it feel like a great addition and breath of fresh air to The Witcher 3. The intro of the story is noticeably different from the more slow and straightforward story from the main campaign. It starts with Geralt taking a contract from a very sinister and intimidating nobleman by the name of Olgierd von Everett. Geralt then meets a man by the name of Gaunter Odin, who saves Geralt and marks him and then tells him he must return to Olgierd and fulfill three wishes for him, which is what the main plot of the story revolves around. It's a very unique story and when you kind of forget the main plot and just enjoy the story for its own mini standalone, it's very enjoyable. All the main characters from the main story are not present in Hearts of Stone, and instead you are introduced to a new cast of characters who are just as great and offer a lot to the story. Geralt himself almost feels like a new character in Hearts of Stone. He acts much different and thanks to his love interest Shani, he is a lot more expressive and open with his feelings, which is something we have never seen from Geralt, and it added another dimension to a character that many of us already love. Something else that is very noticeable is that Hearts of Stone dives much deeper into the fantasy and lore aspects of The Witcher 3. Things like ghosts, immortal men, and talking animals are in Hearts of Stone, and it felt great to go even deeper into the rich lore of The Witcher world. On the gameplay side, there aren't a ton of new changes. It's a lot of the same fun Witcher action with a few new enemy types and a new system called enchantments that allow you to engrave your weapons and armor with more special powers and effects. It's nothing crazy, but it is a nice addition to have and adds more depth to the somewhat shallow gameplay. The world doesn't change that much, the DLC utilizes a lot more of the northern parts of Velen that weren't explored much in the main campaign, and it didn't feel totally different, but the world is already so great that it's not that big of a deal. There also isn't a lot of side quests, there are a few of them, however they are quite forgetful. The main story itself is pretty long, it's around 10 to 15 hours, which is very impressive for a DLC. There are also some great and unforgettable moments in the main quest like pulling off a heist or being possessed by a ghost. The choices from the main story are also present in Hearts of Stone. Granted, it's not as big of a scale as the main story, which had like 36 alternate endings, but there's some big choices you can make that each have their own consequences and will also lead you to a few different various endings. Speaking of, I am not going to spoil the ending, but I personally like the one I got and although I wasn't a huge fan of the final mission, I did like how the story wrapped, it was satisfying and tied the bow neatly on the Hearts of Stone story. Witcher 3 is one of my favorite games of all time, and Hearts of Stone builds upon the already incredible base game, and I would 100% recommend checking it out if you are going to buy The Witcher 3, or if you've already played it and just haven't tried the DLC. Well anyways, that wraps up my thoughts on Hearts of Stone, now I want to hear if this video helped you decide to get Hearts of Stone, or what your thoughts on it are down in the comments. I'm currently playing through the second DLC, Blood and Wine, so be expecting a review on that soon as well. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video if you could please drop a like that would be really appreciated and if you have not subscribed yet please feel free it really helps me out on our road to 4,000 subscribers if you want to discuss my videos with me or others please feel free to check out my discord link is in the description and other than that have a fantastic rest of your day assassins